New Mexico Department of Game and Fish has identified the following top priorities for 2016 in addition to our other ongoing projects and duties. The department's top priority this year will be large-scale habitat restoration. The department has earmarked an estimated $25 million for statewide habitat restoration projects, including the creation of supplemental watering sites for wildlife, the elimination of invasive species of vegetation, and the reestablishment of native grasses and plants on a large scale to maximize return. Much of this work can only be done with the cooperation of partnering agencies, such as the U.S. Forest Service, the Bureau of Land Management, the New Mexico State Forestry Division, the New Mexico Association of Conservation Districts, Soil and Water Conservation Districts, private landowners, and the public. Department staff will endeavor to build and maintain these relationships to leverage financial and contractual resources while conducting planning, compliance, and implementation for targeted watersheds and wildlife habitat restoration projects. Our next priority is a mountain lion population study. Wildlife management staff will embark on an in-depth study to better understand mountain lion population distribution and density that will contribute to improved wildlife management decisions in the future. The department will compare data-derived density estimates to those used in the current habitat model and test and validate a remote camera-based survey technique for estimating mountain lion density around the state. Native trout restoration continues to be a top priority with the department. and We will continue to focus on restoration of native Gila and Rio Grande cutthroat trout to waters throughout their historic ranges around the state, including Whitewater Creek and the Rio Costilla. Restoration efforts include the elimination of non-native fish and the stocking of natives. We'll also be doing riparian habitat improvements, including fish migration, barrier renovation, and construction. Recruitment and retention of sportsmen and women is very important to our department, so our next priority is to continue our Family Hunter Education Weekend programs. The program staff will continue to bring families into the outdoors by offering weekend hunter education courses that are family-friendly and result in certification. The weekend program also provides positive exposure to other outdoor activities that fits into our overall mission. Another top priority for the department this year will be revising our Share with Wildlife program. Staff are working on changing the current Share with Wildlife program so that available funding from the state wildlife grant program and other potential funding sources can be used to expand the program to support targeted restoration efforts for specific wildlife and designated habitat and to also meet the department's obligations for both terrestrial and aquatic species recovery planning. Enhanced web-based data access is a top priority for the department this year, too. We'll be building pages on the department's website to provide public access to both historical and current data generated by the department and posted for educational and transparency purposes. Examples of the types of data to be posted will include the department's history and accompanying photos, information and evidence from archaeological discoveries, and a place for people to post their photos of hunting, fishing, and outdoor experiences. Another top priority for the department this year will be our riparian zone mapping project, where we'll develop the process and structure necessary to create a detailed statewide riparian map to assist in our decision-making process, support riparian and aquatic habitat restoration, and enhance future department-led projects. Some operational improvements the department has prioritized for this year include continuing to work on improving radio communications by transitioning our dispatching duties to the state police, which will provide enhanced support to the department. Another operational improvement the department will pursue this year includes continuing to decrease the vacancy rate across all divisions through proactive recruitment and a 30-day recruitment to hire goal when any position becomes vacant. Another big operational improvement the department will pursue this year is complete validation and implementation of the department's new web-based federal aid cost tracking system. The department will benefit from consistent federal fund cash flow, less human data entry error, and both time and effort efficiencies. 
And lastly, the department intends to implement a web-based employee time reporting system, which will decrease staff time spent on paperwork and free up time for focused work duties. It will also eliminate the duplicate data entry needed to currently meet both state and federal requirements.